Hey folks, Pyrotoga here, playing Monster Loves You. We have ascended. We are elder monsters. We are brave and ferocious. We're pretty clever, and we're pretty kind. Not very honest, but we have the respect of the majority of the community. Let us use our powers of persuasion wisely. Let us play Monster Loves You. Okay. Well now, with 14 days left, until something... We have some new stats. This is how well monsters think of humans. Oh, I see. When the inevitable conflict comes, this will dictate how monsters act. What do we think of humans? The current score is 20 out of 100. Monsters dislike and fear humans, but you can change this. Okay. And this is how well humans think of monsters. Humans dislike and fear monsters, but you can change this. Okay, um, I have played this game once before, as I previously stated, and I got some kind of utopian ending where all humans and monsters ended up living in perfect harmony, which was wonderful. Um, I feel like we've got the chops to make that work again this time, but, but, we are the monster. You understand? We are the monster! I do not care what the humans think of us. Let us... Scare the bejesus out of them. And, um... I wonder what happens if we love the humans, but they don't like us. That's probably really bad for us, actually. It's probably really, really bad for us. Um, let us... Hate the humans, and have them love and trust us, so that we can dominate them. Yeah? I think that's what we want. So we want, we want to gain as much... Uh, we want to drop the human love of monsters as low as possible, but raise the... No. Wait. Oh, damn it. I don't know. Let's do whatever seems to make sense for the humans to... For us to want to attack the, the humans. How will monsters think of humans? So we need to think poorly of them. But we want them to think well of us. Yeah? I don't know how easy that'll be. So we want human stat high, monster stat low. Let's do it. Okay. Let us go to Carmen. We tried once before, but we were too young and we were stopped by ham... bag. Ham bag? I can't remember. <clears throat> Let us choose our adventure in Carmen. Woo! <laughs> you watch as an elderly human tries to fix his house. He looks up at the leaky roof with a sigh as it starts to rain and goes inside. How bad is the leak? Looks like a trickle of water will get into the attic from this storm. It might do some damage to the human's house. He also left his tools out! <laughs> now, we could repair the roof and raise the human's opinion of us. And that's what we want, I think, actually. Or we could kindly protect his tools from the rain. Um, that's great. It's only letting in some of the rain. Fix it! Oh, or we could sabotage. I see. No, let us repair the roof ourselves. Let us be super kind. And brave. Humans view monsters plus 18! Success! The human here is hammering above. He emerges just as you leap away, the repairs finished. So we're like, you know, house elves or um, pixies or whatever. I think um, gnomes were originally house spirits or I don't know. Someone with some idea about um, Scandinavian mythology and, and uh, Germanic tradition, Teutonic tradition can tell me about that. I'm really fascinated by all that, but I've not really looked into it. Like, there were all sorts of different... Uh, Spirits and elves and, and forest things and, and kobolds and goblins and all sorts of things. And a lot of them are quite horrible, actually. Uh, but I'd love to learn more about that. Neil Gaiman knows a lot about it. You can read some of that in his fantastic book, American Gods. But anyway, let us go back to Carmen. We want the humans to love us. And then we will stab them in the back. <laughs> you see bolts of lightning hit a strange rod on a roof and investigate. From inside the house, you hear someone shout, LIVE! LIVE! <laughs> what is going on? I think I've got a good idea. You listen at the window and hear a maniacal rant. This human is building a, a, a creature out of other humans. Dead humans. That sounds familiar. Consider what you've heard of such things. Stop the human from making the creature. Or help the human with this creature. This could be fun. Let us consider. So... 
<coughs> excuse me, someone did this a while back in the mountains, and they made a creature all right, but it was more like a monster, and it did some bad things, and in the end a lot of monsters got killed because of it. Well, that's not entirely how the story went, as I recall it, but, um, okay. In fact, it was supposed to be, apart from a few scars, it was supposed to be beautiful, like, you know, a son of Adam type thing, but never mind. Um, so, do we stop the human from making the creature? Or do we help the human with the creature? Which would affect the human's opinion of us? Like, do we care about what this one human thinks? Or, by stopping this, would we raise all other humans' opinion of us? I just want to do the fun thing. <laughs> you knock on the door. The human lets you in and nods with a crazed look in his eye. He shows no fear. How odd. Let's give him a hand. You explain a few things about slime and the power of monster physiology. The human takes note and thanks you. You're welcome. Oh, later you hear that his creature has done quite a lot of damage in calm and they're not happy. Yeah. Yeah, I figured that might happen. Well, it was fun anyway. It was fun. It was fun. It was fun. Um, two huggy monsters there. Uh, ooh, sneaky, sneaky. Let us see. You sneak up to an open window. A human sits on an overstuffed chair. Her back is to a desk covered in... Wait a minute. It's maps with red X's on them. Let us take a closer look. They're showing off locations of the monster towns! Alongside a badly drawn sketch of a monster with a knife stuck through it. What? We could be clever and teach her a lesson. We could confront her, even though it may kill us. Or we could teach this human a lesson with violence. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Let us teach her that monsters are good. You remember that some humans really like gifts. You gather an offering of stinkweed and corn husks and return to knock on the front door of the house. I don't know how well that'll go, if I'm honest. She answers and yelps with a surprise at the sight of you. Oh, give her the bouquet. You shove it out her face. Ah, oh, Our kindness did not work out in our favour. Still, she seems to find the situation more curious than frightening. For me? Mm-hmm. Ah, she looks bewildered but touched. She utters a quick thanks, hesitating before retreating to her home. Humans love monsters. Monsters don't love you, but you love monsters. That's how this is going to go. Back into Carmen. Let us do some more. Uh, <laughs> I love this. What is this place? You're in a dark, dank, woody room that smells like old jaggery. I have no idea what jaggery is. Mosey on in. Humans sit at a long counter and drink what looks like foamy cider. They seem sad and a little confused. Aha! A drinking place! After a bit, you see that there's a stool open, so you climb up and plop down on it. One of the humans starts muttering about his problems. Can the human see what you are? Or do we get out of here before he realises? Or do we strike up a conversation? Or we could have a throwing contest. Break the liquor bottles with darts and billiards. I mean, that sounds fun, but... um. Can he see what we are? He doesn't appear to have noticed you yet. Or maybe he just doesn't care. Sure is dark though. And he's very drunk, let's be fair. Let's strike up a conversation. We are brave and we are nice. And we're fairly clever. Um, My wife just took my jellyfish and my dog just ran away. He goes on and on about what sounds like a pretty awful situation. I know how you feel. When I lost my jellyfish, I was distraught for weeks. Let us listen on because we are kind. And we're not that honest. You seem so sad already. You keep listening, clamping down on the urge to try and solve his problems before he's done complaining about them. Yes, I I feel you, monster. This is... I understand. Um, sometimes the solution is to listen. And you just have to accept that. And compassion is important. So let us keep listening. He goes on and on, calling you Mac. Oh, Mac. Uh, he talks about pigskins and some sort of a bowl that he lost. We could offer to help. I mean, that might be nice. He laughs, though it looks like he won't find it. He seems happy after talking to you. Oh, it's a sports thing. I get it. The doctor is in. That's right. We cool. Woo! Plus 18! Oh my god! He finishes his last drink and gives you a little pointing salute. You monsters is good people. Yes. Yes, we are. 59% now, come on! So he knew we were a monster all along, he just didn't care, he was too drunk to be worried by it. That's pretty cool, that's pretty pretty cool. Uh, we've we've gone through four days so far and 
already the humans are all over us. They love us. Can we get it up to 100? I mean, that'd be great, but... Um, let's, let's eliminate one of the huggies. You're hiding in a shiny wood building. Two humans are holding hands in front of another human. Aha. Uh -huh. He makes a lot of noise about a, a witness. The other two look around, disappointed at the empty room. Oh, they're getting married! <laughs> we could pull our hat over our head and offer to be a witness. We could quietly seek out an, another human to be a witness. Or we could sabotage their doing. No, let us be brave. Let us be very brave. They're delighted! The humans all take turns talking. Aww. And talking. Uh. And talking. Ah. Uh, and talking. Yes! Eventually, the two holding hands make kiss faces at each other. No. They sign a paper and hand it to you. Take the pen and do the same. X. Here. You make a pretty squiggle. Beautiful. The pair thanks you profusely, and you bow. <gasps> the hat fell off. Oh! Exposed! Ooh. The humans gasp! <gasps> but you stand your ground, unafraid, and after a moment, they thank you. Oh! Humans love us! Plus 18%! 77! Look how they love us! What do they think of us? The current score is 77. Some humans like... Some? I'd say that's a solid majority like humans. Um, nine days left. I think it's worth taking another couple of trips into Calm and seeing if we can't get that up to uh, more than 77%. I'd like to get it over 90, really. Um, I wonder if we can help an injured human or something. You're in a secluded hiding place near the park. Suddenly you see a human grab her stomach and fall over. Oh, is she playing a joke? Now is your time to shine. Yeah, let's shine. That's the spirit. What will you do? Um, we like the spine doctor. Doctor her good. Um, yes, we are kind. Let us do good things. You lay her down on her back gently and feel her belly. This rumbling calls for milkweed. A sure settler for such complaints. We are so smart and kind. We are going to be the new doctor. Let's go find some milkweed. You dash out into the park where you find a few pods of the stuff. Using your claw, you cut open the pods and drain the contents into the human's mouth. Let us see what happens. She moans and tries to push you away, but you hold her still and keep the medicine coming, just like the spine doctor taught you. Okay. Success! The human is soon standing, unaided. Other humans come to help her, but she hardly needs their assistance. Off you go, job done. Into the night. Whoosh. Oh my word! Advanced neurosurgery get! Woo! <laughs> the human brushes milkweed fluff from her chin and looks around for her saviour. You're sure she's watching as you lope away. Okay, plus 18 and 95%. Advanced neurosurgery. That was a nice little tag. Good job. What do they think of us? <laughs> they love monsters. You bet they love us. Okay. Uh, let's... We'll leave it on 95% for now. Uh, you know, if we find that we've got time spare at the end, which seems unlikely, uh, we, can, we can make good with that. Uh, it seems our stats are not changing whatsoever, which is to be expected. We are solidified. We are elders. We are the elder um, neurosurgeon. Ooh, what are this? Elder Riddy wants to stop using electricity from the humans. It's making us... Let's have a new voice. It's making us less monstrous, he explains. And it is a human thing through and through. You happen to know a bit about electricity. I do. I'm fairly clever. You shuffle forward and raise one claw, clearing your throat. All the elders turn to you. Riddy says, Ah, you agree with me? Hmm. Do I describe why electricity is great? Or do I show how violent electricity is? Which requires ferocity. I have that in spades. Or do I agree with Riddy? Um. I don't want to disagree. I want to gain respect. Um, and also I want hum uh, monsters to hate humans so I'm going to agree with Riddy which I think will do good for us in both those counts you leap up cut an overhead power line and suck the oily electrical fluid from it your whole body lights up and blammo ouch wow they don't like humans this is cool when you come to you're surrounded by burned grass and elders debating whether to consider humans with access to electricity a threat or a menace Okay, that went pretty perfectly. I mean, I would like to gain more respect, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think that's, it looks like that's fixed now, um, as a result of 
our adult actions. So, let us choose another adventure. Uh, oh, he's so happy. Yeah. <laughs> Mupsy Moral outlines a plan for defence against the humans. Fruitcake! I've seen it, friends. Every year the humans offer it to each other, but nobody wants it. She can't possibly think. But fruitcake is a weapon. Oh, she does. Mopsy goes on. If they fear it so, it must be a weapon. Perhaps a deadly poison. One we can steal and turn against the humans if we need to. We could explain the truth about human fruitcake being delicious. We're pretty honest. That would work out well. Actually, we've only got 50%. I don't know how well it would work. I shouldn't rely on honesty. Um, humans give fruitcake as gifts, sort of. Requires kindness. Or, let us anger the humans by stealing their little cakes. No, we want the humans to like us. So, we've got good kindness. This is going to work for us. I don't know what it's going to do. Um, everyone is shocked. You've said surprising things before, but this is pretty blatant. Mopsy mutters something to a friend, too quiet for anyone else to overhear. Hmm? Mopsy? Hmm? Mopsy view humans plus eight. No, I don't want that. Mopsy mutters. You are known for your generosity, so perhaps you are right. But I still want to get my claws on some fruitcake. Okay. Listen, we still don't trust or like them. Uh, let's try and bring it down even further. With this pot. Jaggery, or Jaggery, drinks deep from a jar of cider. He belches and the air goes wavy. Let us watch the ferocious elder as he drinks some more. Jaggery raises one claw. Oh, so old Jaggery, that's what the bar smelled of and now we know why. Okay, raises one claw. Um, let us see. <clears throat> Humans are... Humans are stupid, lazy, worthless, stupid... Oh, oh fight any monster who says otherwise! Uh, I could disagree uh, with my kindness. But, um... I don't want to disagree. I want to mention that you've seen stupid humans drink themselves into sickness. <laughs> I've no idea what this is going to do, but it sounds fun. Yeah, monster view humans minus five. Everyone nods. Jaggery waves his jar, sloshing cider everywhere. Yeah, drinking. Okay, that went that went as well as I could have hoped. Let us drag our opinion of them into the muck. Let's go again. Uh, sleepy, sleepy. You're just concluding a thrilling speech to the other elders. Ha ha ha! Finally, something goes smoothly when. What in snack is that noise? Old Hamrag fell asleep in the middle of your speech. Again, his pig-like snout and four nostrils give his snores a poignant yet thunderous quality. <coughs> Hamrag. Hamrag, not Hambag, that's right. You'd have better success whispering at the moon. Hamrag keeps snoring. Talk louder to be heard over the snoring! Hamrag wakes up. He looks around and says, You know, humans are pretty nasty. They sharpen rocks and cut things with them. Also, they kill each other all the time. Now, we could explain that humans don't do that anymore. Requires honesty? Honestly, they do do that still. I mean, you know, not everywhere, but they do. <sighs> we could establish authority by fighting Hamrag. Ooh. Well, we could agree with Hamrag. Humans are primitive creatures. Yeah, let's drag him down. Woohoohoo! The collected monsters raise their voices in a howl of grunty agreement. Completely oblivious to the irony. <laughs> yes, yes. We are sowing divisiveness. Such divisiveness. I'm really enjoying this. Okay, folks. I think this session has gone long enough. We have completed ten days as an elder. And the final showdown is ready to take place. So join me. For one final episode of Monster Loves You. See you next time, folks. Bye!